I love a good t-shirt. For the past 11 years, I've been fascinated with t-shirts. Now, one of my only struggles in speaking to all of you is, you can't be up here with me feeling my t-shirt. And honestly, throughout this presentation, you're not going to be able to feel the shirts that I'm talking about. I really feel for you. But I mean, I can geek out more than anybody about t-shirts. In fact, this t-shirt here, 503812, that's the fabric blend, okay? <laughs> Heathered, alternative apparel, eco boss v-neck. I love how it's uneven stitched. I love how the v-neck just comes to right here. I mean, look tough, you know, kind of like I got it together. On top of that, I love this tailored side seam. I mean, the first thing you noticed was, wow, that guy looks like this, right? <laughs> In fact, you know, I was thinking about taking off my shirt just so you guys could feel it, but I have a feeling, no, 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 no. I have a feeling like doing that would get the wrong viral shares on, on Ted, and they might not even let it out there. Um, but here's the thing, Ted, it's all about creativity, it's about making things happen, doing things, and if you're making things happen, if you're doing things, part of that is honestly probably at one point making t-shirts, being in charge of that. Now, picking the right t-shirt, I like to think of it, is honestly one of the hardest decisions. And in that moment that you're in charge of that, it's one of the biggest decisions in your life. I put it up there with like, which car should I pick? You know, you do all the research. Which home should I buy? What neighborhood? Even up there with like, what's the right spouse? Who should I marry? Because it's a commitment. I mean, it's seriously a commitment. You walk into a printer and they give you this catalog about as big as Montana, okay? They give it to you and they go, here, pick your shirt and you go, I have no idea what I want. I mean, let me just geek out here for a second. We got 100% cotton. Those are the shirts we all grew up with, the ones, you know, soft as sandpaper, fitted as a paper bag. <laughs> then we get a next up, 100% ring spun cotton, up to like the 50-50s, up to the 60-40s. It's all about the blends now. Now it's up to the 50-25-25s, soft as butter. Then 50-38-12s, which is the one I'm wearing tonight. Then we bump it up. Who knew that they were able to take bamboo, make it into a thread, and put it into a t-shirt and sew it somehow? Super soft, though. Then we got this new thing called viscose. What in the world is viscose? When you look in that magazine, you say viscose. I have no idea what that means. There's probably a TED Talk somewhere in America talking about viscose right now. <laughs> then we got made in America, free trade, organic. I'm waiting for the day, though, that we offer gluten-free t-shirts, because they're going to sell. <laughs> they are going to sell. I'm telling you, somebody out there, somebody out there, come up with gluten-free t-shirts, I will market them, and we're gonna be huge together. <laughs> now here's the thing though, people love free. They love getting a deal, but they hate junk. I can't emphasize that enough, they see through that. They see through the free t-shirt, they see through a low, low, low price, and they go, there's no way I wanna wear this, this is junk. Is it gonna scratch me? Am I gonna get a rash wearing this thing? People see through that. So over the past few years, we've seen so much innovation in just the softness, the fabric types, which is why I'm up here talking to you about all the different types and how to pick the right one. Now, the big thing about t-shirts that I just want to emphasize is they communicate about your brand. When you're in charge of making a t-shirt, they really communicate what does your brand want to communicate? What do you believe in? When you give somebody a free t-shirt and it's junk, they go, mm, how fast can I ditch this? Are they gonna watch me as I go away and throw it away? My thing is, people that invest in t-shirts are investing in their brand. It's one of the best decisions because we all know that t-shirts are something that we all take seriously when you pick it out of your drawer in the morning. What should I wear? What do I feel like today? Now people might be out there saying, this guy is so passionate about t-shirts. Like, couldn't you be passionate about something else? Like, where could we apply this passion? T-shirts. <laughs> My thing is this. Like, I am in the t-shirt business. You all are in other things. Like, we should be so passionate about whatever it is that we're in. The world's not looking for boring. The world's not looking for you to go, okay, this is my job. No, the world's looking for you to go, I wanna make a change in whatever industry. The world's not looking for boring. We've all seen boring, because I guarantee you the t-shirt printer down the street is boring. But the guy who goes, let me help you get the right shirt that's gonna make your brand look amazing. And on top of that, people who you give a free shirt to are gonna go, hey, can I buy another one for my friend? They need it. I always like to say, you don't need to advertise a good party. 
you don't need to advertise a good party. And honestly, t-shirts are an advertisement for a party. You give it to somebody, they wear it. But if you give them a junky shirt, they go, oh, nuts. I gotta throw this away. <laughs> My biggest thing is stop selling and giving away junk. Start giving value, reflect your brand. On top of that, t-shirts are more than shirts. What I look at them at, what, what I look at them as is memories, events. I look at them as experiences. And experiences, the softer and better fitting, the better. So thank you. <laughs>